Hello there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Last time we arrived in Kirkwall, where it became apparent quite quickly that we'd gained no entry into the city. The Hawk family hadn't been the only ones fleeing for Elden, and the city had reached its capacity. We talked to the guard captain in charge and helped him fight off some deserters from Ferelden's army. As thanks, he helped find Aelith's uncle Gamlin, Leandra's brother. Gamlin claimed to know a way into the city, with the catch being that we'd have to work off his debt for a year. We decided to side with the Red Iron mercenaries headed by Mirren. After performing a job for them, we gained entry into the city. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. Serving with the Red Iron is no mean feat, yet you not only served, you impressed. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. 
And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Keep a hand on your you coin, Hawk. The there are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. <sighs> There's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. I'm still figuring that part out. Then how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> Soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe, never captured a tried and true rose. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. Ah! But surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? I don't need anything right now. I look forward to our voyage together.
don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. No, that can't be true. Meredith wouldn't stand for it. It's pointless talk. Things will never change. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Good day, Sir Arthur. You are looking... Please keep it quiet, Sir I love doing that. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position? Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity, if you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. 
This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure, but I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. All right, Evelyn. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Messiah, please stop kicking the wall. Ferelden in the guard. What will they think of next? You have a problem with that. Me? My family's not native either. I'm just surprised. A lot of old prejudice in the guard. I'll give them plenty of reason to change their minds. You know, it's possible they're just scared shitless of you. That's my theory anyway. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the Free Marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. The Chantry, not the symbol it could be.
Being a guardsman seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother was a soldier. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen, they do something real. They protect people. They make their lives better. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. The children. The orphan Ferelvins ran off again after we met them. That can't be right. I wish they'd let us help them. I'm sorry you had to witness that disgraceful scene by the Chanter's board. I am Elthina, Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. Sebastian's normally a good lad, but he's had a terrible shock. He said someone murdered his family. Sebastian is the youngest son of the ruling family of Starkhaven. They were overthrown recently, violently. Sebastian is the only surviving member. He's royalty. Prince Sebastian Vale. If he succeeds in his pledge to take back his lands. He made a vow to the Maker to put worldly concerns behind him. It is a sin to forswear himself for a mere title. I think his family deserves to be avenged. Sebastian would spend his coin to buy men's lives. The same as those who attacked his family. No matter how justified he feels, that is murder. And when he returns, I will tell him so again. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Sister Lima told me I should put myself on. Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels Happy. filled with nug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? time no see my friend well if it isn't worthy the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name <laughs> i only advertise the truth you still with the red iron it was just a year you were with them right still trying to ferret out everyone's business i see <laughs> of course how else do you expect a dwarf to make a living i'll tell you what i still have my old contacts you need some rune crafting done i can arrange it for you Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead.
so. What do you do, Aveline? You know I'm a god. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still working for that brutish thug, Mirren. Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I supplied the Red Iron with potions. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Something of yours, Sarah. Maseranus? This is a rare gesture. Gather round, all. I bring you a priceless treasure. From the highest heights of Mount Davaris is travel. A pouch of Andraste's ashes. Verified by the scholar Genitivi. These ashes cure any ailment and provides virility in more intimate matters. Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> I'll try. Just a small pinch, Sarah. There you go. <gasps> My God, it's gone. Cured by the Maker himself. That's enough. Clear out, you charlatans. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the Carter's coffers. They must be stopped. drinks for the guards, but accept, and you wake up in the alley. And trust his grace, have mercy. Oh, right, the rusty metal spike district, my favorite part of town. Can we leave now? The best armor coin can buy. Day, citizen. I won't complain about Uncle Gamlin's house anymore. The boys and I are going for drinks later. If you'd like to join us. Don't mind if I do. See you there. A step closer. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the Maker doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? Now we Don't fight. say I am. <laughs> Maybe love. 
Thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. Blessed are the righteous, the lights and the shadow. In their blood, the maker's will is written. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.